welcome back to my channel um i thought i'd quickly jump on and do a little bit of a unboxing video with you guys of all the medication which has been received it did come last week um and it has been refrigerated since but i've been so busy with my birthday on friday and all that sort of stuff i ha literally haven't had time to sit down and film it for you um so i am going to go through it all now <laughs> AF finally arrived yesterday um, so that makes today day two of my period um, and it just means that today is the day where I start the Benfolar injections. A little bit nervous um, but I know I'm going to be fine. It is now five to seven. I have prepped some antibacterial wipes just to wipe over the area before I do inject myself to make sure it's nice and clean. Injection number one, done. It did hurt a little bit, especially when it first went through the skin and I pushed the liquid in. I could feel the liquid going into my skin um, but once it was in and you have to wait for the five seconds, you can't feel a thing. I think it's just initially the thaw and the first pinch of it going in. It's just a bit of a daunting, but I've done it. And yeah, I have done it. Like, well done me. Um, so that's the first injection. A couple more days of taking those. And on the appointment on Friday, I will get told if to carry on with those or when to change to the second injection. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of myself. Hi guys. So I have just been for my first scan to see how the eggs and follicles are growing. Um, the doctor said I have 15 on my left side and 15 on my right side. They aren't quite the size that they have to be yet. Apparently they have to be in between the size of 15 to 20. Um, <clears throat> and at the moment they are only between 6 and 7. So they have got a fair bit to grow but it is only my day 2. Well today will be my third day of taking the Benfolder injections. Um, so it's kind of expected that they are going to be a bit on the small side. I do have another scan on Monday to see how they're getting on over the weekend. So super exciting. I feel absolutely fine as well since taking the injections. No sort of side effects feel normal no bloating nothing like that um still drinking as much water as i can to make sure that i don't get the the ovarian hyper syndrome but yeah so i'm going to enjoy the rest of my day baking with Myra. i think the sun's out so we might even go to the park so yeah speak to you all soon Hi guys, I thought I'd just quickly jump on and give you an update of where we're at. Um, so today is my sixth day of taking the Bumfolo injections. I've not had any major side effects. The only thing I have had is the normal things when ovulating. So um, breasts feel a bit more full, feeling extra hungry all the time. Um, but I've had no pains or anything like that, especially with taking the injections, which we was a little bit worried about. Um, I am making sure that I am reaching my water maximum each day. So at least two litres a day, if not more. I am drinking palm juice as well and also eating a lot of protein nuts as apparently it helps with the 
the eggs growing and being mature that sort of thing um but yeah so doing really well um i've got scanned tomorrow to see how the eggs are um fingers crossed i have grown so i can start taking the second injection but we'll keep you all updated <laughs> Saturday morning I don't know what happened this week or if it's the medication or anything like that but I am feeling exhausted this weekend like I need a chill weekend I am just currently at create I've just had a scan a Saturday scan which is unusual um, but just to check the eggs I have been in all week for scans so I've been on Monday to Wednesday Friday and now today as well just to determine of when the egg collection will be um, they did originally say it was going to be Monday but then the doctor changed her mind and said Tuesday but I've just had it confirmed that it's definitely going to be Monday which I am not complaining about because right now I'm feeling so bloated feeling a bit sicky feeling especially on an evening um, so yeah I'm just ready to have these follicles taken out now I'm so so done um, the doctor did just say on the scan that we have got around about 15 to 18 eggs which she thinks obviously will be good enough for collection and there are the correct size i didn't really know how many eggs to expect i do see on the ivf pages and stuff that some women have like 20 plus da, 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 da. but for me i think between 15 to 18 is plenty obviously because we are egg sharing half the eggs will be halved um so we'll get a couple and then they'll get a couple um if it's an odd number we always get the extra if on the day of egg collection they don't manage to get more than 11 i think it is we keep all our eggs for ourselves um so i guess it's just a case of just waiting for the day to see what we do get and the quality of the eggs that sort of thing but i am feeling pretty positive i am happy with like i say 15 to 18 eggs that's more than enough i can imagine but yeah so it's actually happening i think i might fake tan tonight just purely because i am pale as a ghost um i have been given like a sheet of things i need to follow things i need to do things not to do ready for a collection on Monday. They've advised not to wear things like nail varnish, they've said not to wear makeup, not to wear perfume, anything like with strong smells not to do. I don't really know why. I think I might Google it, but I think when I've seen it on the IVF pages before briefly, people have said it can like interfere with the instruments. So we don't really want that to happen. So I'm gonna stick to the rules, I'm gonna be good. But I think I'm just going to put some fake tan on because I'm not feeling Casper right now. But yes, super exciting egg collection next week. Once egg collection is done, they will freeze all of the eggs which we've got. Um, and then obviously they'll insert the sperm of the eggs. And then by next week, Friday, we should know how many eggs we've got and how many of them have turned into embryos so the next two well next week is a pretty important week i guess obviously with the egg collection on monday and then by friday or saturday we'll know how many babies we've got so yeah super exciting so i've got two days to prepare i think i might go to asda and get some 
comfy PJs ready for recovery, being as I can't drive on that day. Um, I am not actually back at work the day after, fingers crossed all being well. Um, but yeah, so exciting times. We'll keep you all updated. Sunday, hope all doing well. I thought what better than right now than while dinner's cooking to just quickly just jump on and give you an update of how everything has gone this week with egg collection and just bring this video to a close. Um, but yeah, so earlier on this week we did have our egg collection. Um, it went absolutely fine, there was no complications. We managed to get 17 eggs in total nine for our use and the rest of the eggs were for our recipient they were all in good standard good shape good size that sort of thing when we had the phone call just to let us know how how many eggs we got we did actually get nine for ourselves um which we're pretty pleased with um recipient got eight so i assume that was all good for them the egg selection itself um, I was a little bit worried about I guess on the day um, but I was out of surgery within an hour the treatment itself the doctor said only takes about 15 minutes to do um, I was put to sleep I had a cannula in my hand where they did inject whatever liquids or fluids I have to put in you um, so I didn't feel a thing when I came round about an hour after I had to go to the toilet, I had some snacks at the clinic and then I was sent home. I couldn't drive so Sunny had to wait for me. Um, so I just went home, just relaxed, just chilled, watched Netflix. I was actually back at work the next day but I was absolutely fine, I didn't have no pains or anything. I just had to make sure I were taking my antibiotics and topped up on my paracetamol. It is now how many days past egg collection. The clinic have been really good this week, just giving us updates of how the embryos are going. Um, like I said, we did have nine. One of those were actually uninjectable, so we couldn't use that for the ICSI treatment. Um, but gradually, has the, has, uh, as the week has gone on, um, we have actually got less and less eggs because not all of your eggs, what you have, are good enough to achieve pregnancies. Um, so Friday we had, I think it was a total of four eggs. Three of the eggs had nine cells, which is like top quality. We had one egg which had seven cells, which is like an okay quality, but could be better. But they always did have a chance to grow a little bit more. Um, but today is now Sunday and I had the call this morning from the embryologist just to let us know that some of our eggs didn't actually make it to blastocysts um so it turns out we have got two blastocysts left which have now been frozen but the positive side of that is that the blastocysts that we do have are top quality um so he said it is more than 95 percent chance that they will achieve a pregnancy i just think i don't know i just feel like now we're at the end of the week like i think it's actually like dawning on me like how much of an experience that we've actually gone through over these past couple of weeks obviously now i'm not taking the injections anymore so i feel like my body's on a bit of a hormone come down so my mood is like here there everywhere like at some points i'll be so happy at some points i'll like be in a foul mood for no apparent reason um so yes yeah, so that's kind of how it's been going the past week i think it's just a lot to take in um i am happy obviously we've got two eggs two very healthy eggs well not even eggs blastocysts now which is even better um two healthy blasts um but they, like i said they have now been frozen so you've then got the worry of are they going to survive the thaw like what happens when the thaw like what happens if they don't attach to my walls like when is the right time to have their frozen embryo transfer like 
there's so many questions I have and I think you've got so many things going through your mind obviously you have some doubts you obviously have a lot of positive thoughts as well don't get me wrong but this yeah it's just it's just a lot at the minute I think and we've got a couple of more appointments over the next couple of weeks of when we're gonna have the frozen transfer obviously if it's the right time all that sort of jazz I have to wait for a one month cycle period before we can have the frozen transfer um, but then again because they are now frozen obviously if we wanted to we could review the fact of well is this the right time to have the transfer do we want to wait more towards the end of the year do we want to make sure our bodies are like a perfect top quality but then again you question yourself did did I do enough to get enough eggs and there's so many questions I think with this and I do feel like sometimes obviously as the egg count did go down you just think you do feel a bit oh in yourself like was there something else I could have done better is there something else I can do next time if this doesn't work but yeah so I just need to keep telling myself to be a bit more positive I think like I said we have got two healthy blastos which is the main thing a lot of people on the IVF pages do say it's quality over quantity which I keep telling myself but I just think this couple of weeks wait now between between now and until my next period and then the period after when we can have the transfer done is going to kill me. Like, I really am thinking, like, looking at the calendar, thinking how many days, how many days, how many days. Um, but yeah, so it's just a waiting game, I guess. I just need things to take my mind, obviously, off the whole IVF procedure. Next week, the lockdown restrictions do ease, so I have a couple of dates coming up, a couple of date nights, a couple of friend dates, which I'm really looking forward to and really do need. So this morning I spent a hell of a lot of money on ASOS and Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing and everything else, just to get some outfits together for when that does happen, so I can't wait for that. But yeah, so that's the update of where we're at really. So my next video hopefully will be the frozen transfer which i can explain to you guys a little bit more in depth when i know a little bit more myself because my original plan was to go for a transfer straight away um unless obviously i developed the ovarian hyper syndrome which thank god i haven't which is really good um but the clinic just said just in case it does happen we we do advise you to have a freeze all so that's where they are at the frosties are in the freezer waiting to be thawed when we're ready but yeah so that is the end of this video i hope it's been pretty informative for you all I'm trying to keep it real and yeah so i think i'm gonna go and do some sunday self-care some face masks a nice relaxing bath with some candles and i will see you guys all on the next video thanks for watching bye